What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. Hey homies, so today we're gonna get into the Kiara Hudson Benefield case. This is another domestic violence case that turned deadly. We're not going to waste any time. We're just going to go ahead and jump into it. A New York mother of three was shot and killed last week. And police believe that her estranged husband, who had been arrested the previous day on domestic violence charges, is responsible for her murder. Kiera Benefield, who's 40 years old, was killed on October 5th as she sat inside her car outside her mother's home according to Spectrum News. Two of her children were in the back seat and witnessed the shooting. Now, authorities have issued an arrest warrant for her estranged husband, Adam Benefield, in the connection with the shooting. The killing happened just one day after Adam Benefield was released from jail after a domestic violence incident in which he assaulted Kiara. Now, the... Uh, the um, police officers responded to a domestic violence call at a home on September 28th. When they arrived at the scene, Adam Benefield had already left. Officers told Kiara to contact them if he returned. Now, the following day, Kiara posted a video of an alleged assault um, on her Facebook page. This was not alleged. It was an assault, okay, on her Facebook page. When officers said the video on October 2nd, sorry, when they saw the video on October 2nd, they arrested Adam and charged him with one count of third degree assault, two counts of fourth degree um, criminal mischief, and one count of second degree menacing, one count of second degree unlawful imprisonment, and one count of second degree harassment. Yeah, all of that. And he was still able to get out. All those charges, and he was still able to get out. If they would have held him in there, she would still be alive today. Now it says here, however, Adam Benefield did not remain in jail. According to a news source, he was released on his own. Just hours after his arrest, he has not yet into a plea to the charges and court records do not reflect an attorney authorized to speak on his behalf. The day after he was released, police said that Adam Benefield shot his estranged wife in the head. He fled the scene and authorities are still searching for him. And I also read in another article that there was two children in the back seat. Of the car when it happened. So it was children present when it happened. And that was said in another article. Now the police tell the news station that Adam Benefield is considered armed and dangerous. And anyone with any information regarding his whereabouts is urged to call Crime Stoppers WNY at 716-867-6161. And they're offering a $7,500 reward. Is for any information that leads to his arrest. Oh, Lord. I, <sighs> this is really sad. This is really sad. Because it seems like, I, like I told you guys, every time I read about one of these cases and we talk about it on here, Domestic violence is on the rise. It's on the rise. If anyone's going through this kind of stuff, when you call the police on your partner, you have to get the hell up out of Dodge. Because it seems like now, and there's no, you know, there's no um, reports about her filing any you know, petitions against him or anything like that. But it just seems as if every time there's a domestic violence situation and, you know, the guy goes to jail, they end up coming out of jail and then they go to 
the you know the, the wife or the girlfriend or whoever reported them they go to their house or they find them and they kill them or hurt them really bad and it's sad it's what's what's going on here what's going on what is wrong with these men you think a woman's supposed to just take your abuse keep letting you beat on her or abuse her whatever that you're doing and you don't pay for it you don't get locked up for it and then when you do get locked up for it you're so mad and you're enraged that you go find the person and you beat them really badly or you murder them what needs to start happening is that when a guy going to jail for domestic violence the guys that's in there need to beat their ass and i'm just being real they need to get taught a lesson. This is sad because now there are children that doesn't have neither one of their parents. Kiara's mom is going to is is suffering because of Adam. A lot of people are hurt with this situation that's going on. Children are involved. A mother has lost her daughter to domestic violence. And I'm pretty sure his family does not approve of his actions. So now you have all these feelings and, and people being upset coming from both directions. It's just really sad. But like I said, domestic violence is on the rise. It's happening more than it ever did. It's like every week or Every other day, I'm reading about a domestic violence case. And it's sad. It's absolutely sad. Oh, my goodness. Well, all I can do is ask you guys to please keep Kiara Benefield's children in your prayers and her family as well. Keep them in your prayers because they're going to need it. You know, this is a tough time for the family. For her children. It's upsetting. It's upsetting. <sighs> Alright you guys. That's all I have on this. If I find out any more. I will definitely let you know. If they catch up with him. You know I'm going to come back here and tell you. Alright so now there's two people out there on the run. That um murdered their. One murdered the girlfriend. The other murdered the wife. So two men out there on the run. It's ridiculous. All right. So I will talk to you guys later. And you guys have a great day.